Hey everyone, long time no see, right? Let me make sure. Yes, okay. So, this hair will be reviewed in another video. Today is about um, my Bare Minerals Foundation application. Okay, so if you guys do not follow me on Facebook, then you don't know, but I've just been hired with Bare Essentials. So I am really excited. It is a part-time temporary job, but it's like for a year and a half temp. Somebody's getting deployed and I'm going to take over their position. Um, I am, there's just no words to describe how happy I am. I really wasn't sure if I was ready, but after like talking to the manager and going through the interview process, which I do will do a video on, um, I'm ready. I'm more ready than I've ever been in the last two years of my life. And I'm so glad to be part of a great company. I start next week, so I have not officially started, but I am officially an employee, signed and sealed yesterday. So yeah, that'll be my, um, my kids will be gone all summer long, so I will definitely be able to work my ass off this summer. But, so let's get started. Um, I am in the color medium beige. And I have my little kit here. This is what I received. Um, obviously, because of YouTube, I have to say I did get this as part of my starting kit. So, no, I did not purchase this. Um, it's the customizable eight piece get started kit. Okay. And that's all that it comes with. Um, I chose the matte foundation. I have used Bare Minerals in the past and the original formula which gave you that nice really pretty dewy look. Um, now I'm pretty sure it's probably because I wasn't doing it correctly. Everything that I've researched now and read about now, obviously I want to learn everything about the company I'm going to be working for. Um, I probably wasn't doing it right. But I wanted to try the matte one. It was a new, It's a new formulation in the last year and a half, 2011, end of 2010, I think. I don't know. But... Um, I wanted to try the matte one. So I picked up the matte one and I was matched to medium beige, which um, I have more golden undertone right now. It does match, but definitely when I go into work, um, I'm gonna get a sample of their golden beige one because it does have a little bit more yellow. So yes, and then it came with the mineral veil, warmth, which I love, um, and three brushes. Okay, you got your Full Flawless Face, which is the one I use for the foundation. Uh, flawless Face, which is the smaller one, which I use for the um, warmth bronzer. And then your Max Coverage Concealer Brush. So I've already applied. I also received a purifying cleanser, which I've been using the last two days. And I really, really like it. It really does take off all the makeup with ease. And their purely nourishing moisturizer with raw minerals, active soil complex for combination skin. And I've let that sit for about 10 minutes. Oops, already. I do not have anything else from them. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, but I will be getting stuff soon. So, just a second. Okay. Uh, what was I saying? So I will be purchasing their primetime primer and some eyeshadows and I want to be able to have like a full face, you know, for when I go into work. But as of right now, I only have foundation and and the two skincare things I have. So let's get started. Um, today I will be using That Gal Brightening Face Primer. And this is from Benefit. And I'm going to put that on my face. Um, I remember when I first used Bare Minerals, and this was before I really, like, got into makeup. Um, I didn't use a face primer ever. Um, it wasn't. Well, I don't even remember when I started using face primer, but I didn't use face primer before. So yes, there we go. Now I'm gonna get my Bare Minerals in matte and it has that little clicky thing, which mine doesn't really click. But I'm gonna put about, you can't see that, can you? Well, there's more than that. Oh, it fell. Anyway, 
going in with this brush now what I what I've been reading upon and watching is to really 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 take the time buff it in you're warming up the minerals I also saw somebody mention that the lid is coated with something this plastic thing to help like as you're buffing it warms up the minerals um, this is not a setting powder, like a dusting all over your face. You're not gonna get the same results. You're not gonna get the same coverage. You really gotta work it in there and um, warm it up, I guess. Okay. So I'm gonna do the concealing afterwards because I'm using my foundation. So we're gonna go in and literally start. Now, my skin right now, as you can tell, is pretty damn great. So. I don't need a lot of this. I have no, let me put this damn hair back. Oh, um, no current breakouts. And um, yeah, I also read or watched something um, about this foundation. This particular foundation, the matte one, it works better with a really dense kabuki brush I mean synthetic brush um, something about the matte formula breaks down these bristles um, and some of you are used to really soft brushes because this is minerals crushed minerals you need a stiffer brush in order to buff them together and um, really all mesh together well and create a clean slate so that's what I've been learning. So, I mean, I know the lighting, I was trying to change the lighting, but you can definitely see this just looks more even compared to the redness that I have here, uneven skin tone and um, unevenness that I have right here. So for me and my current skin situation, this worked out. So I'm gonna do the other side. So now that I've done both sides, I am going to go a little bit over my cheeks. Hold on, baby. No. Um, I'm going back in with a little bit more. Um, and again, really buffing it, warming up the minerals. You want to get the best effect you possibly can, so do it exactly how you're supposed to do it. Um, so, yeah. Um, I also found out that these, these, um, the hairs on the bristles, the hairs on the brushes are pony, can be pony and, um, goat hair. And that's why they're a little bit rougher than your average brush. But again, you're, it's almost like a light exfoliation on your face. They said if you have rosacea or really sensitive skin, you go with their synthetic brushes, which I, I, I don't even know really nothing about. I'm just telling you what I had read so or seen. Coming. So that's the um, foundation by itself. So next I'm going to put on the warmth and the mineral veil, but I got to get my son out of the shower. I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I have that on, I'm going to go back and I forgot to mention I was going to conceal. So I'm going to use my foundation. Yeah. I put way too much in there, but you can't see that. Yeah. Now like that. Now your bed's wet. That's okay, honey. And I'm just patting it in again, Stop. warming it up, really getting it into the brush. Okay. I also want to get the um, what's it called? Well rested, which is for under the eyes. There's a lot of things I obviously want to get. <laughs> and this stuff also is waterproof. So if you sweat, the sweat is going to go right over top. It's not gonna mix in, it's not gonna um, melt off. Oh, I highly recommend like uh, 
For me personally too, I'm going to be getting their primer. So I don't really have breakouts right now, but is that you gonna pick me up? Yeah, baby. And just where you think you might need more coverage. Okay. So next I'm gonna do the warmth. I love this. It's just oh, it's so pretty. I'm using like a tiny bit, okay? Going in with this, the, the flawless face. Now some people do use this brush for their foundation as well. If they like a lighter coverage, which um, right now I don't need the full coverage, but I like the full coverage, so I'm gonna wear the full coverage. Okay, so now that I got that all buffed in, lightly, like I am not trying to get all crazy with this. You definitely wanna put it on the temples, on the cheek. Make sure you get right here. I noticed some people like will do it here and then here and then they have this whole spot that's missing. Don't forget that. Get a little bit more. That was too much. Now what I noticed is like I push it in and then swirl. So that way it's not flying everywhere. I don't have as big as a double chin anymore, so I don't need much contouring under there. Are you done? Mm -mm. And this just gave me a nice, healthy, warm tone to my skin. I think it looks so pretty. And last but not least, um, I'm going back in with my Flawless Face Brush. And I'm just going to dust it off. It, the kit also comes with a shampoo for your brushes. Okay, so next is the mineral veil. And tapping it, swirling. And just dusting it over the top, including my eye. Now usually I don't put foundation on my eyes, but this stuff absorbs oil. So a little help in that section and then just kind of buff everything together. And I'm already getting hot and sweaty because I turned my fan off and it's already like probably freaking 85 degrees outside at 10 o'clock in the morning. And, There's and daddy's coming to pick me up. And daddy's coming to pick you up. Okay, get down. Um, so yeah, I don't own a blush from them, yeah. but to kind of stick with the whole mineral esque, we're gonna use this my Mac Mineral Blush in Gleeful. No, I didn't. And I pack, I put it in there, and then I tap it in the lid, cause it's really. Yeah. And I'm just doing the tips, just to kind of add a little uh -uh. rosiness. Oh, mommy, that is to go back. And there you have it. There's I took a my bare mineral face. And I hope you guys liked it. Now it does match. I me. took a bath. Okay, honey. It does match me. Um but I think I want to add a little bit of the golden beige, I think, or the golden tan in it. Just to kind of so make it so it's a little bit more warm. And yes, yeah, so the next video will be on this beautiful piece. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Bye.